Hello, hello. This is Warpaint MC. Uh, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to start it today. It's going to take another week. But uh, the video is going to be about store bought uh, bread yeast versus turbo yeast. What we're looking at right here is a, a barrel that I've already got some mash that's ready. Now, this was seven days with turbo yeast. You can see, I think you can see that pretty good. Uh, when you're doing your mash like this, and I have other videos on how to, uh, you know, make mash, I think I will go ahead and make some today with what I've got just to kind of go through this video again so people won't have to go back and forth. But if you've made your cornmeal mash right and seven days later, that's basically what it should look like. And when you smell it, it's going to smell, it's going to smell pretty rough. It smells pretty sour. I'm going to go on and just taste a little tad of this. Just put it on my tongue. Alright, so I don't taste any uh, sugar. That's ready to rock and roll. So this video, again, it's going to be about store-bought bread yeast versus uh, turbo yeast. This is turbo yeast. What I'm going to do next is just pull out 100 milliliters of this and test it with my, with my hydrometer. And... Uh, We'll see what our alcohol content is. Seven days later, we'll come back. Uh, after I've made another barrel of mash, we'll come back in seven days and test the store-bought yeast. See what the difference is. It's all right. I'm going to go ahead and stop this now and test it. I don't have anybody here today helping me videotape. So uh, it's just going to be me. So bear with me. Um, and I'll be back when I'm testing. All right, so here's my... Hydro, hydrometer or hygrometer. I honestly don't know how to say it, but uh, basically what this does is uh, it measures the alcohol content. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here. We're going to see where we're at. I, I'm sure you're not going to be able to really see this that good here. Alright. One thing about these two is they always want to turn away from you some reason. Basically you just take the reading of what it is. Alright, so right now we are at 9%. 9% alcohol, uh, which is, you know, that's more than a really strong beer. And that's basically what we're going to do is be taking this beer that we have, really strong beer, and making some corn liquor with it. So what I'm going to do in seven days after I finish making my next uh, batch of mash is we're going to come back and we're going to see where we're at and see if it's any difference. I mean, honestly, I thought it was going to be higher than that. But uh, we'll see. Maybe there's no difference. I mean, who knows? Uh, you would think there is because there's a huge difference in price. I can tell you that. It's about, uh, if you get turbo yeast as opposed to store-bought bread yeast, uh, the markup on that turbo yeast is probably 500%. So we're going to see if it's worth it. Alright, so continuing the video on uh, comparing turbo yeast to uh, regular bread yeast that you can buy from the store. Um, right now I'm just making my mash. Once my water here starts boiling, I'll mix in my cornmeal. Got my sugar. Um, I'll be making about 15 gallons of mash today. And what I'll be using is this. Make sure I got oh, oh, this way. Angel dry yeast. Uh, this is probably about, again, like I said, this is about 500% cheaper than uh, turbo yeast. So we're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to make this mash here today. We'll be back in seven days. Uh, check the alcohol content and then compare that with the turbo yeast. All right, so I've got my cornmeal boiled. Boiled down, I've added the other water to it. I just wanted to kind of show you the consistency of this, uh, or really the way this mash looks at this point. Um, because when this mash is worked off and when it's ready, you'll open this barrel up and it won't look like this. It's the the uh, contents will be much clearer. Uh, that's another. That's one way you can tell when it's ready. But uh, this video is not so much about how to make mash as it is uh, comparing the the yeast. Uh, so I'm about to add the yeast to this and uh, put the cap on it. Alright, so back seven days later with our uh, regular store-bought bread yeast. I just uh, 
pulled some out and tested it. It's at 5%. Um, I think I'm going to have to do this experiment over again because uh, the weather has been really kind of fluctuating a lot lately. It's got pretty cool in here. Um, so either way though, this is still at 5%. I'd like to see it around 8, but I think that might have something to do with the temperature it's been kind of running at. So uh, I'm going to run this today anyway. And uh, we're going to do this experiment again where I got more control over the temperature. All right, so here is that first 500 milliliters of whiskey ran out of that 5% alcohol that we ran out of the uh, store-bought yeast. And I, and I still got a lot of this yeast, so I'm going to use this yeast up, even if it doesn't, uh, you know, make as good a... Uh, not not as good. It's always going to be as good a moonshine, but you know your proof, the proof of what you're making is going to depend on your mash, right? You start with 20% alcohol in your mash, which is almost unheard of, but I mean, you know, you're going to make twice as much. So if you watch some of the other videos that I've got, it'll sort of explain, you know, how to get high yields out of it. Um, but right now, what this is, is just uh, regular store-bought yeast. And it's, it, it fermented, it did, it, it went to about 5%, which 5% is, you know, it's, it's as good as a very strong beer, which is what you want to do. You want to distill sort of beer, beer-ish alcohol content. And, uh, you know, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this experiment again, but I'm, I'm going to make it so that I know that the temperature is right because uh, the temperature has a lot to do with it. But as you can see, even though that was at 5%, this is going to run out a little bit. I'll probably get a uh, half gallon, half gallon of good 55% liquor. I'll save the tails and run the tails back in with my next uh, run. And that's what we do. That's how we do it.